GopherSports.com. We're here with Libby Shero, who was one of our first captains on the Gopher growing program and then became an assistant coach. Libby, just talk a little bit about that first year and what it was like to go from club to varsity and uh, just the overall experience of it. Yeah, it was um, it was a huge transition. I think that we, I mean, there were a number of us who had rode with the club team beforehand. We were really excited that you know, the, team, the team was going to be taking this big step, but didn't have a sense really of what was coming and what that was going to mean until it was happening. Um, there were a lot of great benefits. I mean, just the equipment upgrade, the coaching upgrade, and um, and the number of athletes that we were able to host and you know, team travel was all great. But the intensity level was definitely a step up. Um, and I think you know the people who chose to stick with it had a great experience, and it was certainly something that was pretty formative. It certainly was in my life anyway. That was formative about what I. Um, what I care about, what I was sort of willing to let myself go along with in, in a positive way, in a competitive sense, and um, I, I learned a lot in those, those first few years, which were my last couple of years in college. Talk a little bit about even you coming from from being an athlete here to an assistant coach and how much it changed even then that short span. Yeah, it, I mean, I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to stay and coach after I graduated, and you know the team was really on sort of a, uh, an exponential growth curve. I think in those in those first few years, um, the type of athletes that were coming into the team and, and what the training they were sort of able to do with the training, and then with the equipment and the conditions, the Mississippi River is a great place to row, and uh, there was just a lot of growth really quickly thanks to probably a group of about. 60 or 80 women who were all really committed over a series of a couple of years to, to making that transition happen. Um, and so, you know, I, I stayed a coach for five years after I graduated, and at the end of those five years, which was the seventh year in the program, we were making our second appearance at the NCAAs, and, uh, and then that was the year that we won one of the events. So I don't, I don't think that, you know, in time it just sort of seemed like one foot in front of the other, and won the Big Ten Championships that year, becoming the second year before. Um, it was really validating, but I wouldn't say that any of us thought we could, I, w- I certainly wouldn't have predicted that that's how it was going to go. So it was a lot of very consistent work that got us there. All right, thanks, Libby. We're here with uh, Gopher alum, Jackie Gagne of Richter, uh, and uh, she was on the rowing team from 2000 until 2004. Jackie, just talk a little bit, you're on the novice program. Uh, talk a little bit about what kind of transition you went through going, going through our novice program and then into the varsity. Well, the whole experience for me was a big change. Um, I didn't have a background in the sport when I came in, and um, you know, I, I wandered on two weeks late after tryouts, and so everything was completely new. The terminology, uh, just being on a river in a boat was completely new. So my first year was a complete learning year in every sense of the word. Um, but had an awesome experience with the novice coach at the time, Carrie, and established an awesome relationship with the girls. Um, and just really, my first year was learning about what what is the sport, what does it mean, how do I work hard, what does that really mean, um, and then establishing myself within the boat. By the end of my novice year, I was strokesy, and then going into the varsity season, getting Wendy um, was an amazing learning opportunity for me and, and it was just all around phenomenal. Um, it is by far the hardest sport I've ever done in my life. I came in as a three sport athlete um, thinking that I knew what it meant like to work hard and I had no idea what it meant like to work hard. But um, you know my four years here I I wouldn't take back anything. It was, it was amazing um, starting, starting in a program that had no base here in Minnesota other than a club and um, making it, you know, starting and, and making it progress to a point when I left where I felt like I had really accomplished a lot being here. Talk a little bit, Wendy had mentioned before that you were on one of the the uh, varsity eight stroke position and, and kind of really started uh, going from, like you said, going from a club team and going into an actual Big Ten sport and, and a little bit about what your position Entail. Well, my position of stroke seats, I always looked at it as um, 
you know, not only are you working hard, but you need to be smart, you need to have rhythm, you need to be able to, in the midst of complete and utter pain, you need to be able to maintain control of yourself and maintain control of the boat. Um, and I bounced around in my four years, mostly my first year, between different seats in the boat. Um, but for my last three, I was stroke seat, and um, I, I grew to really love that position. I felt like it was a powerful position to be in. Um, and it made me think a lot, you know, when we would stop in between pieces, when he would ask me my opinion a lot. And it really made me evaluate what, A, what rowing really is and what it's supposed to feel like, what it's supposed to look like. Um, and it put me in a, in a position almost um, in my head of, of being a coach. And it, I communicated a lot with Coxon, and um, I really enjoyed being a coach a lot. What, uh, what was one of your favorite memories that you had here? <laughs> There's a lot. Um, I have a lot. You know, I, I when you said that a funny moment comes up, we had a really, really hard practice day. <laughs> and uh, very hard day. And, and it was towards the end of the day, and it, but it, the practice wasn't over yet, and I'm trying to mentally keep myself engaged as my lungs and my body are burning. And Wendy said, you know, Jackie, do you have any opinions? And kind of looked at her and smiled, and I started flapping my or, and, I, and I started singing the song, I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. And Wendy, that always comes up. Um, but outside of that, you know, being in the boat, um, the first four that at Minnesota that had a, took a first place, um, being in the most competitive eight here and winning, um, beating teams that we were never expected to beat at the time. Um, and I have a lot of memories with Wendy. She is by far someone that has impacted me tremendously. And what are you doing now? I, so I, I finished my four years here, I got my master's, and then I got married, and I had two kids. So I have a three and a half and a one and a half, and I stay at home with them all day, and then at night I coach, I coach you around, I coach you Okay. All right, thanks, Jackie. We're here with Erica Bartuke. Lamsky, yep. is that right? Yep. Uh, Eric was one of our, our rowers at the NCAAs and Big Tens when uh, we won the championship. Eric, just talk a little bit about your experience here as a Golden Gopher athlete and and some of the lifelong friends that you made here. Well, this was like the best four years of my life. I mean, it was lots of fun, and I would never regret coming to the United States, actually, you know, enjoying the team. Uh, all the girls, the my class, you know, majority of girls are still in touch, and up to this day, you know, four years later. So it's been, I don't know, it's been an amazing, amazing experience. I mean, you can never repeat this again. Yeah. So. Talk a little bit about how, um, how the whole recruiting process that you went through. You talked about uh, coming coming here to the U.S. and just talk a little bit about what you and Wendy discussed and, and how you got here. Well. Um, so I was trying to go to Washington State, first of all, but Wendy was very persistent. She you know, came to Lithuania twice, because Lithuania they were hosting World Championships, and I was participating, and I met her at the races, and she said, like, well, would you like to come to Minnesota? Which I didn't know where that even was, or how cold it's going to be, nothing at all. So, um, so then she came back a uh, second time, like half a year or a year later, maybe, for a second visit, and then I started taking my English test, and that's how I here. I mean, it was a very, it was a very short turnaround time. I got noticed in July, and I, I was admitted, mm -hmm. and I had to be end of August back here. So I was kind of like, oh gosh, I have to get in the plane and go somewhere. That was scary, but. It worked out. <laughs> yeah. Talk a little bit. What are some of your favorite memories here as being a Gopher student athlete? I think one of the favorite memories, I mean, I would say like that, you know, every day a team, but I think the biggest one is that first time, first bit to NCAAs. Um, it was the first time in history, and um, it was just, we, we worked so hard for it, so it was kind of amazing too. To go there, so I mean, and winning Big Ten, I mean, everything. Yeah. What <laughs> so, uh, What are you doing right now? Can you give us a little um, update on your life? I work at the U. I'll have baby in July. Um, happily married with third year, and so.
lot of changes right now. So, so yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. All right. Thanks, Erica. Thank you.